Yeah, since I was a kid, I wanted to go, and uh, I just didn't know exactly where in Ireland. I only knew County Limerick, um, according to an old death notice, but that's all I knew, really. So you went about it kind of a different way to many what many would know um, is available over here. You actually had a DNA test done. How exactly does that work? Well, it's a newer technology, but it's gotten a lot more affordable. So now a lot of people can just do it, and it's gotten really good, actually in terms of the technology, and uh, it, it's it's really cool. Uh, it'll look at your DNA, and it'll look for matches through your Y chromosome, which only passes from male to male. So, and for that to be, I suppose, accurate, it, I can imagine it, it, as it turned out to be, in your case, it turned out to be very accurate, but for that to be accurate, um, one of your relatives would also have to have their DNA um, test done and on some sort of a database. Yeah, exactly. You would need at least one other living distant cousin to do it, uh, and then it'll look, and, and for my match, it was actually a 99% chance that we're related back from, like, the 1700s. No, you know, that's that's kind of really good, because that, does that, in a way, does it cut out all the need, um, in some extent, anyway, it cuts out all the need to check parish records, births, deaths, marriages, and a lot of the geneal- genealogical yeah. research? Is it a way of bypassing all that? Yeah, exactly. And unfortunately, a lot of the old Irish records uh, are no longer around for back in, like, that far back. So mm. it's a great way to still find your living family. Yeah. So you came home, you found um, a relative, first of all, in County Limerick. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I phoned him. Uh, he was happy to meet. Uh, I was really excited about that. And uh, he's right on the border with, with County Carrick and County Limerick. Uh, and uh, I met with him. Mm, and that was uh, Thomas Connelly. That's right. Yeah. It was really amazing. Uh, they were very friendly, very welcoming. Um, it was a, a little bit difficult to find. Uh but I was able to do so, okay, and uh, it, was, it was really a great experience. Yeah, uh, what what area in Limerick were they living in, uh, just so our listeners could know? It was Tom Tom Kennelly and, he, and his, yeah. his wife Margaret. Yeah, it's in Carrick Kerry. Carrick Kerry. Oh, yes, okay, um, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And you got to go home, uh, you got to, I suppose, go back and see the old Kennelly family home once belonging to Tom's great-grandfather, Michael Kennelly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's uh, from the, the 1800s and still standing uh, way back in the 1800s. Mm. And it's his great grandfather's, yeah. And then how did you come about from there to end up going to Kerry? Well, um, while I was talking to him, I asked if he found anything interesting from the DNA test from his perspective. And he said he did. He said that he determined uh, there's a relation between his Canellis and the Canellis in County Kerry. Uh, and that was the determination that he found. Um, so I was really excited to hear that. Um, obviously, he had a database, uh, and someone in County Kerry, a Canelli, did the test as well, and, and they made the connection. Uh, so then you went on a bit of a road trip. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, uh, I just <laughs> I went to my GPS, and I just typed in Canelli, <laughs> and uh, it popped up in County Kerry and Movane, uh, Movane. Movane, uh, yeah. That there was a... a yeah, my van that there was a Canelli's hardware store, so I stopped there. And then uh, he told me I was only like 10 minutes or so from Belly Longford, where there were Canelli's as well. So, so I went on to Belly Longford. So that, and, so that uh, was that was Mike Canelli. That was Mike. Ke- that, yeah, that was Mike Canelli at Canelli's hardware store in my van. You went into him and said, literally, "Hi, I'm, I'm a Canelli from from America." Yeah, that's right. <laughs> What sort of a reaction yeah, and, did you get when you, when you said to people, you met a few people like that, what sort of a reaction when you kind of had to explain, you, you had to ask them, are you a Canelli? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was fine. Uh, it was kind of an awkward question, but that, you know, I just wanted to be sure I was meeting with the right folks. And uh, it was actually fine. Uh, they actually, they were very interested to hear that I came from the United States and, and told my story. So you ended up going from there to Bally Longford? That's right, yeah. Yeah, so I, I pulled into Bally Longford and I, it didn't take very long. I found the the, Bally, uh, the Canelli's pub and I found a uh, Canelli's uh, a shop as well. And then I met with Tim Canelli who, who owned the shop. And he's um, uh, an, uh, a nephew of uh, Brendan Canelli, the, the well-known Brendan. Irish writer. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, this is uncle. Yeah. So how do you feel now, Craig, after the trip, after the way you managed to come to Ireland and find relatives that were so close to yours and, and learn about your own family history? 
Well, it's really amazing. I, I was hoping I would get to meet just one, and it wasn't confirmed uh, when I got on the plane, came over to Ireland. It wasn't confirmed that I was going to even meet the one. Only when I actually landed, I made that phone call to confirm it. Uh, so I was just hoping to meet the one, and then I, I met his wife, I met his, his daughter, his grandson, and then I met the other Canales along the road there in County Kerry. So it was more than I expected and wanted, and uh, it was really exciting to, to meet relatives. Did you feel a connection to the area? Yeah, I absolutely did. I really did. And I just reflected back on like what it was like my family when they lived there. And uh, it, was, it was really special. I, I really enjoyed it. And just for um, your own family story, um, which relative was it that emigrated and, and when did they leave Ireland? Yeah, it was uh, Thomas Kennelly. He came over in 1849 to Canada and uh, he grew up in County Limerick uh, on the border with County Kerry. So he would have been, I suppose, fleeing the Irish famine at the time. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. yeah. And your your branch of the family has now ended up in New York. Yeah, that's right. Uh so he went to Canada, and then uh, they came to the States not long after, and, and I'm living in New York now. Yeah. Well, listen, Craig, look, thanks very much for talking to us. Um, it's a great story with pictures posted up on the, the Huffington Post. You've got a good reaction to the story from people as well, kind of letting people know yeah. that there is this DNA test out there you can do. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Great talking with you. Thank you.